What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about Tupperware brand, ticker TUP. I want to give you a breakdown of what the data points are currently saying, what shorts are doing, and everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to Tupperware, it is down 3.07%, a little bit more of a sell-off, as you can tell, based on the intraday and very little volume. So 277,000 shares being traded within the first about two hours of the trading day. 6.4 million is the average at the time doing this video no sec filings no press releases nothing like that so it is just piggybacking off of the broader market of course amazon did have some fairly good earnings and kind of temporarily saved the broader market from the sell-off that it was kind of spiraling down towards but despite Amazon's fairly good earnings, there is still a ton of fear in the market, as you can tell based on the fear and greed index. So this single-handedly is why Tupperware has been going down with no news. It's just that there's a ton of fear in the market. A lot of people are starting to think of some of the future repercussions of, I guess, a slowing. Because other than Amazon, a lot of the other big names have shown several signs of slowing, at least for the foreseeable future. So when it comes down to companies, Companies that are burning through a ton of cash, such as Tupperware, unfortunately, this is where you kind of get no buyers. Despite that, though, you do have shorts just still very much ingrained in Tupperware. So you do have a lot of people talking on how Tupperware is going to be that next big squeeze alongside AMC and GameStop and many others which could potentially be true because there is a lot of failure to deliver that's still been coming down the pipeline as well, shorts. So I'll give you a quick overview of shorts before I go over into the other data points. So short score is currently 78, utilization is 97.63, Currently, 30.51% of the free float is being shorted. That's crazy, 31%. And 12.17 million shares overall are being shorted. Currently, shorts are returning roughly around 29,000. So the fact that they are returning on a red day shows that they feel that's a little bit more of an overreaction. Of course, I'm gonna tie that into the technicals and many other things, but cost of borrow average is 24.25%. And through the interactive broker, short availability does indicate that Right now, there's about 150,000 shares available to be shorted. So still kind of a small amount, in my opinion, who isn't a financial advisor, of course. So shorts don't really have that much ammunition, especially the latest Morningstar report that I've kind of indicated in the past does show the fair market value for Tupperware just based on their assets being $5.93. So as I said, Tupperware has been hit very, very hard because of just how much they are burning through. And a lot of people are just forecasting very little of the company, at least in the short term. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that. On a side note, I have brought this up for other companies, but this new rule, so the SEC adopts new rule to increase transparency into short selling and amendment to the CAT NMS plan for purposes of short sale data collection. So ultimately, if a company is on the threshold list, the individuals or entities shorting have to disclose their positions, similar nature to the 13 Fs. So it is that time of season. So this is the latest ones for Tupperware. And you kind of see mixed results. So you see some increasing their position within Q3, some reducing, some just maintaining the position. It's kind of all over the place. So keep in mind, Tupperware is still a very much functioning business that I think a lot of people are just completely discrediting. So obviously institutions still see some value in it, but most likely um, with this being passed, I think it was around a week ago, and this being incorporated in basically 60 days. So starting in Q2 2024, you're gonna to start to see a lot more 13 Fs and short positions potentially. So once again, that might really help a stock such as Tupperware that's been very heavily shorted. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that. On a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as Morningstar reports, analyst ratings, forecasts, everything under the sun, take a look at Interactive Brokers, link in the description below and also the comments for all of this to be completely free. But moving on to options, so I'll give you an overview of that. Currently $16,000 in calls being purchased versus 2,000 in puts. So based on this information, clearly people are a little bit more optimistic about Tupperware. 
But over and above that, though, looking at the open interest at the calls, there is some hope. Looks like around November the 15th, a lot of individuals do assume that it's going to be between the $2 and 250 mark. So once again, a little bit more optimism there. If you are bearish and looking at the puts, it is anticipated basically to be sub $1.50 by the end of next week. And it looks like by January the 19th, a lot of people, 9,000 in open interest, in fact, is assuming that it's gonna be below the 50 cent strike price. So kind of interesting stuff when it comes down to that. But let's move on to technicals. With it at $1.59, it is between this S2 and this S1. So $1.45 is a very strong support. Vice versa, $1.64 is the next strong resistance. So these are kind of all the next different layers of all that, but like I've signaled in the past, it is kind of wide so you just have to be very comfortable with a lot of volatility at least in the short term but looking at some specific data points with the momentum indicator shows number of retail investors have been getting in which is a fairly good thing so retail is definitely buying up these discounted prices whereas based on the overall volume institutions not so much so Castic is at 30 so a little bit more neutral when it comes down to that so Overall, uh, like I said, the options activity, very good. Technicals, it's not necessarily too far gone. It is still lower percentile of the boiling band right now. So uh, it is bearish somewhat, but uh, that could be done artificially because of just the broader market as well, shorts. So a lot of different moving parts when it comes down to Tupperware. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think that there is going to be a epic squeeze with Tupperware? And potentially, if so, how high do you think it can go? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that and one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this promo completely free share so you might as well take advantage of this so link in the description below and also the comments just sign up for an account with moomoo throw a hundred dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars one of the best deals in the market so take advantage of this like i said link in the description below and also the comments with all that said i appreciate all of you watching